like to call to order the personnel committee. The clerk, could I have roll, please? Alderman Keehan. Here. Alderman Zielinski. Here. Alderman Spencer. Here. Alderman Benner. Here. Alderman Nichols. Here. Alderman Kraut Kramer. Here. Alderman Collier. Here. Mayor Mercus. Here. Alderman Taylor has been excused. Our first order of business are the minutes to approve from the personnel committee meeting of 7-18-16. Do I have a motion? Make a motion to approve the minutes from the personnel committee meeting of July 18th. Have a motion. Have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, we have one action discussion item, and that is to authorize the restructuring of public health nurse position from a point nine FTE and the dental hygienist position uh, from a point two four FTE. Um, Director McKinney included a memo that explained the whole thing, but I'm just going to have her uh, speak to this, and we'll be looking to achieve three ends, which are at the end of the memo. Director McKinney. So currently we have a public health nursing position that's authorized to work 1,755 hours per year, and that position is offered 90% of the city benefits. Um, that are usually offered to full-time employees. We also have a dental hygienist position that's authorized to work 465 hours per year and is not offered benefits. So um, the requested change uh, basically is that we restructure the public health nursing position to work 1,123 hours per year and offer that employee 58% of city benefits that are normally offered to full-time employees and authorize the dental hygienist position to work 1,097 hours per year and offer that employee 58% of the city benefits that are offered to full-time employees. And um, just to give you a little background on this, um, we um, were sorry to see uh, one of our public health nurses moved to Oregon, but it gave us a chance to step back and look at our current position, that current position. The, um, we wanted to make sure we considered the needs of the health department, the city, and the school district that we serve. Um, if you look at the memo, it shows the different grants that the uh, point nine FTE person was responsible for. I did check in with the state of Wisconsin and uh, a lot of those grants covered by the state um, could be managed by a non-public health nurse, a public health employee. So um, we were fortunate enough last year to obtain the services of a public health hygienist who's just done a superb job and has expressed interest in assuming additional responsibilities. Um, so we felt that if we restructured the position, we would not change the services, but we would be able to re retain um, this individual, giving her additional ex incentive to stay with the city. Um, I did check also with all of our staff, and they all agree this would be a good um, restructure. And the fiscal impact, it could cost the city about $3,000 more per year depending on whether or not the people decide to take benefits. Um, neither of them would be eligible for a Wisconsin retirement system because it wouldn't be that level of FTE. So I'm asking uh, to uh, delete the 0.9 FTE public health nursing position and the 0.24 FTE dental hygienist position and add 0.58 FTE nurse position and 0.56 FTE dental hygienist position and apply benefits to both of those um, according to our city policy. And I would be looking for a motion to achieve those ends as outlined in the memo. Alderman Nichols. Thank you. I'll move to delete the 0.9 FTE public nurse position and the 0.24 FTE dental hygienist position and replace that with the 0.5 FTE public nurse position and the 0.56 FTE dental hygienist position and apply benefits to both positions according to city policy. Motion, is there a second? I have a motion and a second. Any questions for Director McKinney? 
Chairman Benner. <clears throat> Thank you, Chairman. Um, this works out for this particular person. What would it be like for filling the position? The, down both the road. positions? Yeah, because the way we that it actually is right do, now, the currently we, we do have a 0.64 FTE public health nurse, so very similar position, mm -hmm. um, which works out with that person's schedule. Um, we also have a dental hygienist who has assumed responsibilities in the area of bioterrorism, so it, there's, I mean, they, they manage the, uh, also manage those things. So um, I hope that answers your question. I'm not sure it really does. And, uh... and okay. <laughs> we, we won't know that answer until we go out to recruit, but oh, you're looking at we're, we're assuming that this is going to be okay. There are a number of positions in the field um, that are those kind of positions, the 0.56 and 0.58, but until we go out to recruit, we won't know if that's going to work. To and I guess honest. what I was thinking of is that if that happens, that that is a problem, then we'll have to restructure it again at that time because a lot of times you'll find an, a person who's almost an anomaly in themselves, you know, that Correct. will have those rare qualifications question. that other people don't. and and we end up creating a position for a person, which isn't always the right thing to do. But like you said, if we have to restructure and do something different, then that is what it is. I understand, yeah. Okay, thank you. Is there any further discussion? All right, with no further discussion, let's take a roll call vote, please. Well, she carried on roll call, 8-0. And with that, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Got a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? A second. <laughs> Got a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? We are adjourned. Broadcasts of the City of Menasha Administration Committee, Board of Public Works, and Common Council meetings are produced by University Studios of the University of Wisconsin, Fox Valley. Menasha residents and interested parties can obtain information about these meetings and meeting agendas from the city website, www.cityofmenasha-wi.gov. Expression of opinions regarding City of Menasha issues or about these broadcasts can be made by contacting the mayor's office, 920 Nine six seven five one one seven. Contacting their city alderman. Contact information appears on the website. Completing the electronic feedback form on the website. All public portions of the meetings are recorded in entirety and are not edited for playback.